But do you think that some some good ideas? Do you think that the planning is the focus actually, or do do you think that we will need different kinds of plannings? Because in the brain we know that different models. Well, yeah. so there is the question of how how exactly you do planning yeah. uh, and in what? the context of AI, uh, like even classical AI. If you take an AI textbook, yeah, right. like the rest of Norvig or something, you know, half of it is about planning. Right. Exactly. And 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 so there's you know, this planning among like discrete objects, like uh, uh, you know, you want to play a game of chess or yeah. something. Uh, then the, the graph of all possibilities is a tree, so you need to basically figure out which path in that tree has the best yeah. uh, value. And of course, the tree is exponential, so it comes down to like how do you yeah, make we, that efficient? We would like to approximate a model of the world, actually. Of well, what we're trying well, it's to a different. That's a different question, right? You have, you have the model, which in the case of chess is trivial. You don't need one. But, of course. Uh, but then you have uh, the inference algorithm, which is yes. you know. Uh, right. I mean, you have the model, you have the cost function, and then you have the, the sequence of actions you need to produce. Like, how do you find the sequence of actions that minimizes the cost given right. the model that you have? Uh, if everything is continuous and differentiable, you can do this by uh, using gradient methods, right. Right? Uh, which is what model predictive control does in uh, robotics. Uh, if it's discrete, then you need to do tree graph exploration stuff like that. That's much more possibly much more expensive. Yeah, but you know MCTS and all those things, right? And uh, so, uh, that's the problem with the reinforcement learning, the model is always fixed, actually. We know it beforehand, doesn't change, doesn't adapt to in what right. new knowledge. Well, in, in, in model three, it's, uh, there is no model. The model is the real world itself, right? Yeah, and, uh, and parameter, yeah, parametric uh, model. It's, it's, it's just like, you know, you want a model of uh, how the how the chessboard is going to change when you right. move the piece, just run the chessboard, right? That's yeah. your model. Yeah. It's not <laughs> a good model. The interaction with the environment, right. Yeah, yeah so, the, the, so the environment is so simple, it's free absorbable, yeah. etc. that, you know, you don't have, you know, any, any problem, but it's not differentiable, so you can't yeah, propagate Absolutely it. not. Yeah. And that's the problem with the real world, you know? There's two parties of the real yeah. world. The real world does not run faster than real time. <laughs> yep. And you can't backpropagate gradient to it. Yeah, but, but we have a trick in our brain. The cerebellum actually works way faster than that. Yeah, cerebellum is something else. But the, uh, I mean, certainly the frontal cortex is our world model. Yeah, but it is and actually in real time, not faster than that. It's really Oh, slow. it is faster than real time. No, it totally is. Uh, how fast? It's a 100 millisecond response, 120. Okay, imagine yourself uh, uh, traveling to New York City. Right. Okay. Boom. I mean, you've done it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Imagine it's yeah, faster yeah, yeah. than real time. In yeah, than, than realizing the action regarding reinforcement learning interaction. Okay. Uh, I got it. Yeah. Of course. For sure. Uh, you you did yeah. this at a at a high level of abstraction. Right. right. Yeah. So you didn't imagine all the details of yeah. like where you were going to going to be. In no, second absolutely second. not. Right. You can't do that. No, you can do no, that. No, right. Uh, so your model is abstract. Yeah. But that's the point. We can do. Yeah. We can Just run abstractions shortcut. that allow us to make long-term predictions, yeah. and we don't have ways to do this with machines today, except maybe along the lines of the stuff I explained. One question: You are a top influencer, no doubt, absolutely. How, where do you find the inspiration for you specifically, <laughs> and what type of the advice can you can you uh, recommend for uh, young engineers, machine learners, engineers? Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> Very easy question. Yeah. So, you know, I. I don't know how I became an influencer other than by uh, <laughs> producing stuff that people seem to like at some yeah. point. But it took 20 years. I mean, the, the whole idea of uh, you know, deep learning conventional nets, etc. was very unpopular for like 10, 15 years. Yeah, it was. And exactly. It became popular in the last uh, you know, 12, 12 the last, 15, the last 10 years, right? So, um, and then, and then, you know, social networks kind of enable people to have a voice and you can use it in good ways or bad ways. So, yeah. I don't know how to tell you to use it in good ways. i tell you one thing, though. Um, uh, I'm kind of uh, unique at Meta in the sense that I'm, I'm a bit of a free electron or loose cannon. Like, I, I write my own tweets, you know. There's no, there's no people at Meta who, like, write my tweets for me, right? I, I write my own tweets. And nobody tells me... Nobody tells me what to write. Uh, nobody even tells me when I write something they don't like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Uh, so that gives me uh, a bit of a free reign. Yeah. And sometimes uh, I say things that people don't like. So, for example, I've been pretty vocal recently about the fact that I think LLMs are not as good as they appear to be. 
Yeah, a lot of people just don't like me for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Including at Meta. <laughs> exactly. Oh, including at Meta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Bad press. Yeah. But we enjoy your tweets, sir. We, we really enjoy. I mean, yeah. you are tweeting about Twitter on Twitter. <laughs> I think Sch Schmidt Huber also enjoys. Schmidt is enjoying Study stuff that you have to study when you're young, like math and physics. Uh, and if you have the choice between taking a course in, I don't know, mobile, you know, mobile device programming or quantum mechanics, take quantum mechanics. <laughs> <laughs>